3, and we're about to head into map 2. Sangal versus Movistar Koi Haze. That, that first map had us on the edge of our seats. Yeah, absolutely. It was really tough to sort of predict which way it was going to go. Movistar up 12-8 in regulation. Sangal force OT. Sangal get themselves three map points. They couldn't close it out either. Eventually, Movistar finished off the job in the second set of overtime. It's Sangal who choose the sides coming into new CT start for them, and we thrust straight into the pistol. And immediately, it's going to be Youngster with a nice opening kill for Sangal. But Movistar have managed to crack their way down in towards this bomb site. They're going to be met by a firing squad, however. And the last two players, well, they've lost the bomb. Yeah, exactly what Sangal would have wanted to set things in motion here on the second map, considering they're down in the series 1-0 at the moment. Lost on their own map pick, going to have to win on Movistar's map pick on Nuke, which is a really good map for this team as well, right? A very reliable map for them. Played it 14 times in the past three months. They've won it on 10 occasions. So it's really important Sangal put up a, a CT side to be proud of right now. I'm thinking seven, eight rounds kind of thing going into that second half. Shouldn't be any way for Mopaz and WG to recover this right now. 2v4. Bomb firmly in the control of the CT side. And th this should be a formality. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. Just nice and easy. Ah, Mopaz is still alive. Is uh, definitely a chance. However slim. We'll see if he can get one through the smoke. Spots out one player, but... Can't quite connected. Oh my goodness. Salsal very nearly starts shooting at his own teammate there. Luckily readjusts. Realizes... He got it. Wait. Did he? He's got the bomb. He's got the bomb. They're out, out of there, there, bro. A little bit of a smoke play. And he's... he might actually be able to get this plant. That little bit of extra money could be game changing. This is cheeky. Oh, this is more than cheeky. This is actually flipped the script in the round. 2v4, sure, that's a big problem. But... They've actually got a pretty good chance of making something happen right now. Mopaz and WG working in tandem. And Mopaz is a man on a mission, but he gets shut down. I mean, the fact that Movistar actually even get the bomb from that is very impressive. So at least they get a plant, right? That'll enable a force buy in the next round. Yeah, that could very much turn things back in their favor. I mean, without bomb, right? Obviously, it's just a second eco. No money spent. GG go next. Now, however, they can bring in a couple of upgrades. They can feel a lot more confident going into this round. Very cheeky bomb steal there off of the back of a little bit of a smoke play. Sangal really dropped the ball on that one. But despite losing that first round, we're seeing this a lot more commonly. The CT force up on round two. I, I I still am not sure how I feel about it, you know? I think that you, you definitely gamble a little bit too much when you know that your opponent has a lot of money available. But knowing yeah. that it is the CT side... I think it comes down to a map-dependent thing. Yeah. It's a, a lot more difficult to make a case for it in CS2 compared to in CSGO. Obviously, you just have more rounds to play with in CSGO, mm -hmm. so a bit more leeway, a bit more room to make those risky decisions. Whereas in CS2, not so much. Either way, Movistar Koi has east side. They have got that force by at their disposal. And they will be able to trade one for one. Gap left in that smoke. And a player's made his way down the vent. That's going to be putting pressure on Linus. The only player down in towards the secret stairs right now. He's going to be backtracking into the B bomb site. They're chasing him down. And he has got some support coming through to him. But I think Movistar might actually pivot up the vent. Up the ladder in towards A. Oh, Stododo. He was the one player they're relying on. But he's been taken down. I just had absolutely no idea, never expecting the counter flank. And that's unfortunately going to be numbers advantage in here for Sangal. Again, it's a firing squad awaiting the Movistar Koi players as they make their way in here. I think you know, figured it out. No, the run and gun. Beautifully done there. Brings it back to two versus two. And again, it's a doable position. A little bit of damage taken over, but Youngster will win out that duel. Now Davy G. Very low HP himself, but could win this one out. Brings it down to just a one versus one. Falls right off, but he's going to have to be quick on this reposition. He doesn't have a lot of time. Salsal doesn't have a kit, though, so he's going to have to get onto the bomb. There he is, on bomb, waiting to see what Davy G does. Oh, God, he's off. He's moved off. <laughs> he's too paranoid. And Davy G, all he has to do is stand and wait. Hold the line. He knows there's no time. There is time. He's picked up a kit. <gasps> there's just enough time. 
Salsal's found a kit on his fallen comrade. He's gotten on the defuse, and the round will go the way of Sangal. Only just though. I don't fault you at all, Sam, for saying there was no time, because I didn't think there was either. And then he just finds the magic kits on the floor. WG does everything perfectly there. Lovely decision making in the 1v2. Steps to get the first frag. He heard the footsteps of the second, so he knew he was also coming through from the same part of the map. But he just dips out. He slinks away. No hesitation. Unfortunately, goes down in the gunfight and Sangal win the round. Doesn't stop Mavista from investing again, though. Mm. I mean, that felt very akin to the smoke play bomb pickup, right? You play yeah. a little bit of fancy footwork, get yourself into a prime position to pick up just the thing you need. And wow, what a way to crack open this third round. Mopaz instantly getting the first kill of the round out onto the site already, pushing Sangal back into an uncomfortable position. <gasps> Doesn't spot Youngster through the fire and the flames, but will get traded out here. Still a highly favorable position for Movistar. Sangal have to reassess the situation, and it looks like they're just going to back on out. Yeah, you can't blame them. Look at the money. They've just... Sheer brute force alone has been enough here for Movistar to get across the line. And I really like the way they turn up the pace. They know that the pistol round and the force by afterwards were very close. I suppose pistol round wasn't that close, but um, previous round certainly was. And they want to try and keep up as much pressure as they can on Sangal. So a fast-paced player was a really good call. Worked out nicely for them. And now Sangal, they're the ones who have had their economy shattered. They're going to have to force by going to get Movistar with a really good opportunity now to accumulate a few rounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you consider how close, as you say, that last round was, bringing it down to a one versus one, it's amazing that Sangal even had the money to do anything in this round. So for Movistar, they're going to be quite happy putting that round on their backs, heading into the next. Four players still surviving, opting not to push through towards CT, but rather back towards their own spawn. They don't want to risk being... Uh, an exit frag for that MP9. They don't want to give over any unnecessary cash. Making the right call there. MAC-10 still in hand. We saw how freaking absurd it can be. Run and jump. Spray yeah. down. Flipping out. I'm, I'm still reeling at that shot over towards uh, <laughs> under. But we move on. As now Sangal have to make miracles happen with a very broken buy. Yeah, try and do to my beast holes. But like you say, their investment is far worse off. Youngster gets a kill. He's picked up the gun as well. But he doesn't need the picked up AK. The 5-7 is enough to wreak havoc. Eventually, he will fall. Mopaz is all work to do in conjunction with Justo or Sangal. You don't have to continue to take these gunfights. It was a 5v3, lads. The plan was always to lobby crunch. But I think once Youngster gets those two kills on the AK, you just cancel. Pull the plug. Lock your profits in. So far, great recovery from Sangal, just to keep things in a recoverable position. And look at this very deep hole towards outside here. If Movistar, Koi, don't check this adequately, Mopaz knows. He looks, but he's not quick enough. x Floud has woken up from the end of Overpass, Ooh. and he will clean it up with a 3k. Yeah, wonderful multi-kill coming through from him. Normally that position is just good for the one frag, and then you get traded out afterwards, but... He goes way above and beyond his Call of Duty. And, uh, I mean, it was always supposed to be Sangal's round, but got a bit scratchy. They'll make it look easy towards the end there, and at this point we're just trading Force Buys. Well, we expect it back and forth, and our teams are certainly delivering. A very early tactical timeout as well from Movie Star Koi. First half of this round hasn't kicked off in quite the, the manner that they would have appreciated. And that 3k from x I think the fact that three of them died to that, just one after another, definitely something that they want to just uh, rein in a little bit. Like, come on, boys. Let's tighten it up a bit. Can't be allowing that to happen. Still have cash to invest into this, though. But again, both teams on a knife's edge. So close to broken economy again. Neither one really stamping out too much of a controlling begin right yeah absolutely no one asserting their authority here just yet been back and forth no clean rounds nothing clear cut normally that favors the t side but it's only really going to work for movie star if they can start to win rounds to capitalize on this broken up play 3-1 right now if movie star loses without a bomb plant 4-1 becomes 5-1 and then sango despite that it's been such close rounds would feel really good about the position they find themselves in. So let's see what this fifth round holds. 
So far, some good presence from Sangal. Just holding the line. Good util usage as well, just to slow down Movistar a little bit. Movistar still have a lot of pop util, though. Wherever they opt to exec, it could be terrifying. And still, they have presence all across the map here. Nothing committed just yet. Oh, this push towards under. I mean, they, they're getting towards lower completely for free. They're already downstairs. If they can make an opening here on the B side, it's two versus one. All they have to do is take down um, liners, and it's a free site for a bomb plot. Oh, that flash is well timed. And at this point, Linus is just playing the protocols. He knows as soon as I see someone drop the molly, reposition. And rotation's gonna start to come through. They've actually pulled Ganguinho down in towards the B bomb site. That's created space towards ramp now. Movistar starting to assume control here, starting to take up the space that's been granted to them. Or it could all be a ruse. Now there's pressure applied towards the A-bomb side. A lot of moving parts right now for the C side. How do they tie everything together is a big question. And well, there's your answer. Well, so far, Liner's doing his best to try and pop up there. But down to two versus two. The MAC-10 reigns supreme and Ganginho has to make something happen from heaven above. Gets the first. Adam is so low HP. But Ganginho doesn't have a kit. Timing Where's here. the bomb planted though? That's my question. Is it it's in front of silo? The... Yeah, it's on the other side. So, so Adamez can fight from here then, right? Yeah, it's planted for him. Ganginho is not looking in the right direction. Goes for the tap. Turns his back. Oh, dear Lord. The timing on that was impeccable. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe how Adamez actually snakes his way off the bomb site. I was so concerned it was planted under heaven and that it was just going to be caught in a position where he couldn't do anything about the defuse. But, I mean, he was the one to plant it, so he knew what his options were. And that's a huge round for Movistar to win i mean that certainly wouldn't have been the call from spawn to go through uh, around outside up vent to try and split a but that was just making the most of the moment and uh well now sangal force again so rounds continue to be traded back and forth here on new it was, a, it was a solid default from Movistar. They really yeah. played the map so well there. Good lord! <laughs> We're already in towards the A bomb site. First kill has come through. Sangal forced right out of sight there. Just gonna stand in the molly and trying to assert some dominance there. Not good for the kill, unfortunately, but he sends his message. Sangal, an attempt at a retake here is going to be incredibly difficult. And it looks like they're just gonna try to hold on to the weapons that they have. I see xCloud still kind of hanging out. We'll see if he can get something done with the deagle here on the exit, but nope. He's also just going to back out. It's a four-man save. Finally, Movistar going to win consecutive rounds here. First time on the map. And it's not the end of the world for Sangal because they're going to eco in the next round, right? But they'll essentially have a set of forced-up weapons to work with. So there'll still be some firepower behind them going into the seventh round. Three all, though. And Movistar kind of feels like they're starting to get the engine going now on this T side. You can just see they're moving really cleanly. You can see how good their upper side takes are looking as well. The pathing they're taking, their utility as well. The way they're clearing out their, the angles as they make their way forward. I feel like the A anchors are going to have a very tough time in this half for Sangal. I love that we're still so back and forth though. Movistar once again putting up such a solid fight on their T side on a map that maybe they shouldn't be getting that much value from their T side on. And for Sangal, it's a, it's a concern because while we know that they could put up a fight on the T side on overpass, that was their map pick. We expect them to do well on that. They're going to need to get a lot more done here on their CT side if they're going to feel comfortable going into the next. So a little bit of a save here. Kept, that, kept those weapons from the previous round. Absolutely no cash to work with. So it was realistically the only call that they could have made. And again, it's a solid default from Movistar. Looking for that early info, but they've really reinforced towards outside this time. They know to expect for that. And unfortunately, they're not expecting enough as Davy G will crack open the round with the first kill on the youngster. Yeah, important kill. x is going to get called into action as well. Adam S has to clear out all these angles as he makes his way forward. Really only going to have one shot in that sort of a situation with the Desert Eagle. If you don't connect, you know it's tickets. And Movistar... Going to get to taste the lead here, surely. Shouldn't have too much trouble in getting across the line from here. First time they'll have the lead here on their map pick. T-side nuke racking up rounds early on. Good timing though. Mopar's looking the wrong way, but not going to snowball into much for Linus. Should be a fairly clear-cut round win here for Movistar. Going to just circumvent the A-side altogether. Head down over towards B. Get the bomb planted. 
They've still got eyes and ears looking out. They want to take these guns away if they can. Make that reinvest in the next round as expensive as humanly possible. That's going yeah. in your off the board. Salsil knows where he is. Oh, but not going to be allowed to get that kill. Not going to be allowed to take another gun away from Movistar. Would have liked to have taken that uh, M4 away, but they'll be happy to take the round with four players left alive. Yeah, Salsil's not completely out of the woods, I don't think. He is starting to fall back towards Silo. Okay, this should guarantee him his life going into the next round. 4-3. It's such a strong start from Movistar. As much as it's been a bit of a push and a pull here, really close rounds back to back, Movistar have definitely picked up the pacing, picked up the momentum, and kept things firmly in their control. I want to see how Sangal adapt now, because it's one of the, not one of the first times, but it's been a while since they're going to have proper guns in their hands. So they know that Movistar like to default. They know that they like to have a bit of that presence over towards, um, towards Squeaky, towards, you know, Secret. Um, so how do they now adapt to that? How do they now maintain and control that space now that they actually have the firepower to deal with it? Yeah, all very important questions. All right. We head back in now. Waiting for Sangal. Waiting to see if X Flower goes for something. Nah, nothing spicy. Nothing spicy. I was waiting to see if maybe they go for uh, some cheeky kind of op shenanigans. Low armor, yeah. low uh, util. That would have been quite cool. But instead, they're just gonna stick to, you know, some regular old. Playing by the book. 100%. <laughs> not the end of the world. Let's see Adam S. He's certainly not playing by the book right now as he phases his way through these smokes. He's got a lot of players with their back turned right now. Good kill coming through from him. And that's just going to completely throw the cats amongst the pigeons. Certainly shaking things up. Created space, but Ganguinho. Oh my goodness. That's a great kill at range. Sarsal gets in on the action as well. Good start to the round for Movie Star Riders Koi, but everything turned on its head from that point, And uh, it's just just an Adam S left remaining. I mean, this is what I was waiting for, right? How was Sangal going to deal with it? They do a nice little hold. They make sure that they, you know, shut down Movistar's um, forces before they even have a chance to get to the space. Bro, if Linus dies there, that's just... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You're not Why having it? Yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't about that life. But he does manage to succeed. And there you go. A fairly clean round for them this time around with four players left alive. Great yeah. adaptation. Exactly what they needed, right? Making sure that the game doesn't snowball out of control. Scoreline leveled up once again. They keep Movistar Koi here. Bound to Earth. Still on this T side. But they have enough money to afford another full buy. At least Sangal can keep a couple players alive. Start to build up some residual cash. Second of three timeouts being used by Movistar Koi. They're, they're looking really decisive. I'm liking the, the set plays and the defaults coming through from Movistar Koi. Just seems to be getting caught off guard every now and again. I wonder if they're going to fall back on that fast-paced A hit that's worked two for two so far here, right? On the yeah. T side. Yeah, I think that um, you know one of the things we praised Movistar for in the previous map was some really great util usage. So getting those A pops. Well, the monster pops didn't really work out so well for them. Uh, the A pops have definitely done a lot better here on Nuke. Let's see if they do lean into that a little bit more we haven't really seen much ramp aggression from them either but no this time it looks like we're going to see a very strong push towards outside with a little yeah. bit of a lurk over towards ramp and the problem is that sangal are aware that outside might be a problem so well in theory anyway x Flowed should be on high alert to see these players unfortunately it's going to come down to a four versus one here and x Flowed could get absolutely overrun but no he backs yeah. out. The entirety of Movistar Koi have just walked down secret for free. They've completely bypassed him, but they will start to come in towards Linus right now. He's not actively checking, but he's just holding one of those angles. You can see the top of the head as they make their way forward. That's why Mopaz is crouched, though. Really good game sense and just awareness in general there. 
Now Linus' position's been compromised, and there's a lot of pressure starting to mount on this B bomb side. He's just trying to find himself a position where he can try and mount some sort of a defense. It's a nice angle he has right now, but there's so much pressure. They now know where he is. It's gonna be the AWP of Stododo to clear him out. Not the conventional weapon, but the job is still done. And now if you're Sangul, I was gonna say you might think about the save and until Ganguinho gets that frag though. That's certainly gonna keep them interested. Gives them a little bit of a lifeline here to try to push in from. They're trying to create a little bit of a pincer here, but Adam S is holding the line. Another player down for Sangal. Yet another one as Youngster is not much longer oh. for this world. Sangal trying so hard to crack into the site and Movistar have shut it down. Salsal now gonna have to back off, try and hold on to this weapon. And they're gonna be kicking themselves for that one. For allowing the entirety of Movistar to make their way down secret completely unseen, unnoticed. Threading the needle like that, uh, Sangal are not gonna be happy. Yeah, it, it's just one of those things that I think because Movistar Koi do it so early in the round, that's what really catches Sangal off guard. There was no sort of uh, trying to clear the smoke out towards outside to get information to see if anybody was crossing. And I think that's why Movistar Koi just continued to commit because Sangal had no info whether one player had crossed, four players had crossed, or nobody had crossed. And that's why they just completely overwhelm and sprawl all over that B-bomb site. It was a, a well-coordinated hit once they started to get the wheels rolling. 5-4, T-side in the lead once again. CT's gonna have to eco. And this is where things start to look quite bleak for Sangal, right? Oh, 100%. I mean, again, we kind of hop on this quite a bit, but it is their CT side. However, I mean, winning this round, if by some miracle... They could steal that orb from Stododo. I'm, I'm just waiting for Ganginio to get that back in his hands because as yeah. much as I said that he wasn't exactly uh, like a standout performer in the uh, the previous map, he did have some really pivotal kind of clutch kills that really made a huge difference in a lot of the rounds. So it would be nice to see that back in hand. But for now, unfortunately, as we, uh, as we said, right, a little bit of upgraded pistols, tiniest bit of util to facilitate something if they can. And the, uh, the save rifle from the round before. Sal's also going to hold that to try to lock down outside. He knows outside is a weak point and unfortunately loses that duel. And that's their one rifle completely taken away. Now it's all down to the pistols on towards the site. One kill can come through, but Ganguinho has a... Yeah, I was about to say he's got a battle ahead of him, but no, he doesn't. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. deleted. He was a gardener in the wall. Uh, you know, there's that saying, rather be a warrior in the garden than a uh, gardener in the wall. So Fair. He was that gardener in the wall. Never stood a chance. There was no battle. There was no contest. Round over. Four players stay alive for Movie Stars. So they build up their money going into this next round. And, well, they're guaranteed a full buy in the round after this. So they're sitting very pretty. I feel like Sangal need a level playing field at the bare minimum here, Sam. I mean, four, five rounds, not going to cut it going into their team side. Absolutely not. But open hand, and he's posted up towards outside. And again, heavily reinforced your OX flat. I love this. Ganguinho loses the off battle. He's completely taken off board. But now, footsteps being heard. Surely X Flout is aware of this. He's gotten in behind them, but he knows that there's one on top of Silo. He's oh. just trying to get behind them in lobby. His spidey sense is tingling. This is where that bomb is, and if he can get this kill, don't go for the knife. Surely not. He wants more. He wants more than just one. That's the thing. He wants more than just one frag from this position. He knows the bomb carrier is here as well, though. Waiting for his teammates to come through lobby. This is actually really nice. He got great info first for free. Not that clean on the second. I thought for a moment just might be able to lock down a multi. It's not the end of the world for Movistar, considering the position x Flood was in, you know. 3v3 is still very recoverable. What a ridiculous position there. And I mean, that, that kind of makes up for the fact that Ganginio loses that off battle. So now, off the back of those two kills, he's brought things back into a winnable position as Linus from the top rope slams Adam S back down to the ground. Two players left, bomb is lost, and being babysat. These are the most well-paid or pairs in all of EU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're doing a great job, man. They are not going to be letting this thing out of their sight, that's for sure. And Stododo, well, no need to save last round of the half coming up next. I guess just doesn't have much money, so Stododo could drop an AK. But Sangal will do what was required of them coming into this, and that was win the round. Very important round going their way. Line is going to make his way back over 
pick up the AWP so they've still got that for the next round and don't have to reinvest into it. But this is yeah. one of those rounds that you, you can't really replicate because you've done something completely out of the ordinary, something super cheeky, and if you try and do it again, like it's just not going to happen. They're going to be waiting for you to try something like that. And so for Sangal, for it to have taken so long for them to win this round off the back of something like that, it definitely doesn't bode well for this last one. Yeah, it's not like a, something you can repeat too easily, that's for sure. I was actually a bit worried that x -Loud wouldn't be able to accomplish much from that position because they might keep pushing forward and exec into the bomb sites. And yeah, he's got an awesome lurk going on, but there's just nobody to snap up. And he made his way into the lobby and he was able to get himself a good kill and continue to do work outside, but he's been brought down low. That T-Smoke has actually really helped wow. x -Loud get out of dodge. He's loving life right now. Yeah, he's going to be saying thank you, Movistar, for the, uh, the the smoke that just saved my damn life. And Ganguinho, this time around, not going to lose the old battle. Instead, he's going to come out on top of it. And it's looking like we might just get that even scoreline as Mopaz is good for one, but he takes a ton of damage in the cross. And now the bomb is stalled out for Secret X Flood. Here's the... No! Checks a little too deep, loses his life for it, but information given over. Youngster will trade it out. Yeah, that's a peculiar one there. I thought they knew Just was in that position, but he kind of just catches them off guard. Brought down to a two versus two. Mopas has been able to snake his way through. A, Just continues to work it out here. Flash high in the sky. Forces Ganguinho off the angle. Not clean from Mopas. That should have been a free frag. Can Just finish it off? My goodness, it's close. Gonna force the AWP backwards, Ganguinho. You're burning alive. Just is so scared to swing. Oh, Understandably so. That's a quad kill coming through for the Portuguese rifle. Great job. Is it enough, though? We'll find out after a short break.
minor case of deja vu as we come into this with a 7-5 scoreline at the half once again. Previously, it was in Sangal's favor, but this time around, it's going to be Movistar who are feeling the power. We'll see if they can continue that through here on the CT side. They want to try to close this one out. It is, of course, the last map in the series if they can win this, and they'll go up 2-0 in ECL. Yeah, Sangal looking to go 3-0, but that means they have to win here on Nuke and then on Ancient. The decider, Adames, you've got a Zeus. It's the pistol round. A <laughs> Zeus in the pistol. <laughs> My god. I mean, okay. All right. Go ahead. But he didn't go ahead. That was the sad part. They just, like, completely circumvented him. And, uh, well, no value from that as instead they start heading down towards ramp. Do they go? No. Oh. No, they're just hanging out. They're just chilling. They're toying with us. It's actually only WG who's in towards... Oh, Adam has got a kill with the hey, Zeus. Hey, he did it. Because that's the lurker. You're just shift, walk, shift walking lobby. Free frag. Now pressure mounts on WG with the Julies. He's doing it loud and proud. No tasing on his side. Oh, it's electrifying though as he gets blinded up. And it's going to be the T's who assume sight control. And that bomb plant is going to follow suit. Position should be well telegraphed. Yeah, he's got the one with the dualies as his teammates burst through the doors and trade him out quite nicely, losing a lot of their own reinforcements. But at the pistol round, you're not too concerned about that. All you care about is getting the round win. Now, Adam S. Last one left alive. No kit to hand. Not too much can be done here. So just get a couple more frags if you can. And that's about as much as he's going to get done as Gang Inus is playing Ring Around the Rosie Another at this one. point. No, no shot. Aww. Oh, it missed. No, no. Does he actually get this kill? Oh, my God. You know what? He's good for three. He will take that. Not a round win, unfortunately. Ah, oh, but he dies on the exits. All right, well, uh, chaotic pistol rounds to say the least. Maybe we start get the opening kill. And that just forced Sangal's hand off. They lost Youngster and Hut. They realized, okay, we just got to get a move on here. And that was actually the perfect timing for them to put the pedal to the metal. In fact, that entire pistol round just lives and dies with the skirmish towards the double doors, right? <laughs> so many players fighting out there. And it was actually the Glocks that reigned supreme. The extra ammo made the difference. The, the, the third player to come through there. The two CTs had run out of ammo, so they were free frags. And um, yeah, Sangal win a vital pistol to draw back within one. All right, the follow-up's going to have to be clean here. I like Stadoto holding for outside. HE comes through, nothing spotted. Oh, great timing on that. Little bit of chip damage, but not too much else to come through. Stadoto just gonna keep spamming away, hoping that he'll connect with something. Dear Lord, man, a second connection. So much damage Mother. done. Nah, only good for the one, unfortunately, but that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot. Couple players being brought down below half health. However, problem for my V-Star is they've just hedged their bets on nobody going down secret. Stacked up the defense rampant and towards A as well. And it means that this should be an over round. I don't even think that they're going to go for the retake once they realize that the B site's been compromised. Probably just going to accept their fate. <laughs> so that's kind of anticlimactic that, you know, there could even be a world here where my V-Star don't go for it, and then Stododo doesn't even know he's tagged them up, because he doesn't get the assists, and that would suck. Uh, and the crazy thing is, if he had gotten a kill there, I mean, instantly, Mobistar would have started the rotations, but unfortunately, just doing that little bit of damage, not really getting that information, they have no clue. And, I mean, you called it, right? Now they just go for the four-man save. Go next, I suppose. Justice got a pistol in hand, so he might try and get an exit if he can. And you can see him there all the way towards this spawn. He wants to get his. It's all he cares about. But I think he may have actually been spotted. So he's oh. uh, playing a dangerous game here. How much do they want this kill though is the question. Because you could lose quite a bit in the process. Just has fallen all the way back deep in T spawn. Sangal, this this is pretty ruthless. These guys are hunting right now. One of them being the low HP South. So just like keep yourselves at range. Just rattling off the shots. Yeah, there we go. Put some respect on his name. Just the one casualty in the round, but Sangal level up the scoreline. That's a great way to kick off their T side here. Looking very, very strong. For Movie Star. Now that that second round force. 
Unfortunately, coming back to bite them a little bit. Yeah, thankfully they did save a lot of their weapons. And that, that I think, is the upswing. So you force into it. If you know you're not going to win the round, fall off. Don't give over those weapons. I think we actually saw Sangal do the exact same thing on their half. Uh, they knew they weren't going to win the round, so they just they fell off. Now, just, dear lord, man, you are trying to live in their spawn. It is not your spawn, and you need to sit down. That's exactly what <laughs> Sangal tell them, and uh, that gives them the two-man lead. Okay, and off the back of this should be a one round lead as well. Movistar getting challenged here. Of course, early days, we haven't had a gun round yet in the second half, but gonna have to uh, put some elbow grease into getting across the line here on the CT side, evidently. This one's not, not gonna just fall into their lap, as it were. Oh man. Like this round should. Should be a free round here for Sangal, right? 5v3. Well, you've jinxed it. I don't I mean, think so. <laughs> don't. Yeah, jinx. There we go. Yeah. Good attention to detail. Southall just clean up on aisle nine, mopping up. Surely it's just another save. I suppose maybe Davy G wants to try and find an exit if he can, farm up some cash. But aside from that, like I, I don't see a point in challenging this. There you have it. They will back out. Bomb will get planted. An eighth round on board here for Sangal. Not what we expected. Coming into this second half of Nuke. But you said it. We haven't had a gun round yet. Now Movistar are going to have a little bit of cash that they can work with. So maybe we'll start to see some more signs of life from them. Going to have to see some of those adaptations coming through as well. So far, Sangal have just had their run of it. And part of the reason is definitely Movistar's hyper-aggressive play. Oh my god. Actually trying to hunt this down. Trying to take <laughs> out these players. And he might even lose. No, doesn't lose. Okay, there you go. Eventually, he gets caught out. We'll take away one of those guns. And they're still hunting this. They're still trying to shut it down. But no, Davy G going to get to hold on to the MP9 at the very least. They've done some serious economic damage here. Yeah, absolutely. Sangal with the lead here on Movistar's pick. Fighting tooth and nail on the T side into the first gun run we go. WG's going to keep his hands on that MP9. Not a bad gun to have on the CT side of Nuke. Just to update everybody, as we mentioned a while ago, there is a second stream going on right now. The match there on that stream is between Monty and Pera. And they're actually on the third map. Uh, it is Pera leading Monty 7-4 on the third map currently. We're quite a way behind that, of course, with the double OT we had in the first map here on the stream. Could go to a third map, Sam. That uh, I mean, you've got some more kind of strike coming up a bit later, so you're on a bit of a schedule. Yeah, after this, I'm uh, heading over to ESL Impact for uh, anybody who's interested in the women's scene. Uh, I'm going to be doing the North American Derby of uh, FlyQuest Red versus Karma, which is going to be a seriously interesting matchup. Um, but that is at like 2 a.m. our time, so yes, that's got some gonna time be... between now and then. Yeah, you know, could make a coffee, maybe take a bit of a nap, uh, assuming this doesn't go to three maps of double OT. Because if that happens, then, you know, <laughs> we got problems. But, yeah, uh, I'll have to take over at that point. Go gun man. Possibly, yeah. You know what? Solo cast haze. I'm here yeah. for it. I mean, I won't be here for it. But... Yeah, not literally. <laughs> <laughs> Figuratively, though, you'll be supporting me from, uh, from the impact cast. Either way. Into a really big hit round here. Stadoto's got the orb to play with. First gun run of the second half. Rifles outside of that bar. WG and the X Cloud. Well, it's loud and proud, but he's made his way down into secret stairs here. Mopaz is the one who's responding, trying to keep him at bay. Well, we're finally seeing an attempt at a ramp push here. Nice little bit of util coming through. Nobody checks, Davy G. Good for the one. The rest of his team are there holding the line. He is still alive somehow. But a util oh, to come no. through there. How is he still alive? But he's not good for yet another kill. Finally, the overrun comes through. And what should have possibly been pretty handedly Movistar's start to the round, Sangal have just pulled back into their control. Three versus two here. Stadoto on such low HP. Not the end of the world. He's got a he's got an SWP in hand. All he has to do is hit one bullet. I don't even know if they want to go for this though. They're going to hear the footsteps in the A bomb site. They might just accept their fate here. I don't think they're going to have a crack at this retake. All right, well, that's a really good recovery from Sangal because it was looking so awkward towards ramp there. 
First player went through, then she was taken down by Davi G. There was just so much util being thrown back and forth. I was surprised Davi G didn't drop his molly earlier. That would have been a, a prime molly he could have thrown right there. Three players trying to get through while his team was fighting, but the molly came through a second too late, so it didn't really have much of an effect. And Sangal continued their flawless run on the T side. That's going to be a fourth round in a row for them, including the first gun round. I think Movistar Koi are probably starting to sweat a little bit, you know. I mean, it's wild that they're forced into a, a save three rounds in a row. Like, they just, they can't catch a break here. They had a really good plan with that positioning towards ramp, and Davy G needed to get a little bit more done. His teammates needed to cover that cross a little bit more, you know, securely. And unfortunately, Sangal still come out on top of that one. But this, this is kind of a really important round, I think, for Movistar, because as much as at the end of this, they're gonna be on like that full loss streak, they're gonna have a little bit of cash to work with here. This is one of the last times that they're gonna get a really decent buy for a couple of rounds, you know, if they keep losing the way that they are. So they need yeah, to come out sure. on top of this one. Losing this puts Sangal on double and takes us ever closer to map and, well, not serious point, but map point for the very least. Yeah, because it'd be 10 rounds to Sangal. Anti-Eco should be 11-7 thereafter, so within touching distance at that point. Especially relatively speaking, considering there was 7-5 down coming into this. Uh, did they just trade skins? <laughs> or did he throw his gun by accident? Was he trying to drop the nade and he also dropped his gun? Probably what happened. No way you're trading skids, skins mid, uh, mid side defense either way. You're still going to start to rain in here. Sangal looking to force players out of position. Mopoz is on top of the door right now. Youngster is ridiculously close. And he clears it out. All by design. Not just one, but two. He's the star of the round. Great work coming through from him. x Flower will compliment that with the frag of his own. That's the job done. Movistar Koi devastated by the outright attack on that A-bomb site. No ways. No ways. What is this? Fourth save in a row? What did I say earlier? Yeah, I think it is. Too many. <sighs> this is just becoming very painful for Movistar. I mean, we, we kind of set the, the storyline a little bit earlier about how, you know, Movistar Koi, they've got a spot in the major. They're going to be playing in just a few days. And I know it kind of begs the question, you know, are they... Um, are they kind of resting, quote unquote? You know, you were saying a bit earlier, maybe they're not giving 100%. Uh, maybe they're not, you know, playing uh, all of the very best strats in their playbook because they don't want too much tape to be available on them going into the major. Like, these are all questions that kind of flood through our heads yeah. while we watch this. But, you know, for your average person watching, Movistar definitely look a little bit lost on the map so far util usage has not been the way that we expect it to be sangal have gotten too much value with some of their pops they have very aggressive pops that movistar just cannot seem to stem the tide of this has been such a dominant second half yeah it certainly has five rounds in a row coming through for the t side and i agree with you the problem is that movistar just looking flat and it's not even like okay they're hiding strats it's like no they're just getting run over by an all-out a exec it's not like you're going to be hiding much when you're trying to defend against that. Sangal's util use is really good, forcing players into certain positions and then hard clearing them. And this could be the round that really solidifies the map for the T side. At least for Movistar Koi, as you mentioned, they've kept saving and keeping players alive, which means they can continue to afford these buys here, but eventually the tap is going to run dry. Right, we're positioning for another lobby hit. These have been incredibly successful thus far. Maybe start gonna try and take these fights a little bit more aggressively. Sasal just better. Davy G good for one as the pinks comes through, but can they get much more done here? Here we go. Already down to a two versus one. A much better hold. The slightly more aggressive positioning working um, up a Ganginho. Spots what? one out. Hello? Do they not know where he is? But now his position's known. Stodoto has to be holding him. Surely he's aware of this great jump peak there to spot him out, but he looks to the left ah easiest repeak of stododo's life yeah what i'm just wondering is why both stododo and his teammate i can't remember who it was looking towards hut there while there's a molly there as well nobody's considering squeaky and ganginio had actually fired off a few bullets there just after movista had gotten the fourth frag of the round so they should have known ganginio was definitely lobby they're just both watching hut Nearly proved to be a very costly mistake. Finally, Movistar went around on the CT side. But that has to be the start of a run here. That has to be the first of many. 
And Sangal have built up a lot of money in the successful start they've had to the round. So, no problem investing here for them. Oh, that's a gun barrel. That's a gun barrel, Ganginio. Oh, look at the head. the head. There it is. Oh, so clean. Such a small thing, just a pixel peeking through in the most unsuspecting way. And that's already Movistar Koi. Man down. And Adam S has been kind of a lifeline on this map so far. So to have him off so early on. I'm not going to be too happy with that one. Oh, Davy G just... I mean, at this point, it's playing whack-a-mole. You see a head pop up, you yeah. smack it down. However, Mopo is playing in the smokes. He's been doing this a lot so far, and he's going to be good for one here. Now they've left him unchecked. He's going to come up behind them. Justin's going to get one onto Youngster as well. So that's going to be that lurk taken offline. There's potential here. Oh, big miss shot from Stadoto. That would have denied the, denied the bomb plants, at least for the time being. x -Flood gets aggressive as well. Remember, there was Mopoz on that flank. x -Flood will get cut down. Stadoto just has to stay alive. He's going to tag the player up in the smoke grenade there. Now, let's have a crack at this 1v2. Bomb plant ticking away. No kits either. There is one towards double doors, but it's going to be such a difficult post plant for him to try and navigate, especially considering that they're on either end of him. He's just looking for the kit. Doesn't have a smoke to try and stick the defuse either. Things going from bad to worse right now. Stadoto is not having a good time in life. And he is going to molly that bomb. The door closed in oh Stadoto's face. And that was just a comical end to the round. <laughs> yeah, that got a little bit ridiculous. Uh, no more shenanigans of picking things up in smokes and with, uh, with happy feet. Kit could not be recovered. Ganginio surviving behind the door there is absolutely ridiculous as well. But it's another round for Sangal. Movie stars money in absolute shambles. And this should be a free round for Sangal, but here's the problem. Well, okay, it's actually not as dire as I thought it would be, because Movie Star will have a little bit of lost streak to work with, but it's not it's not max anymore because they did win one a few rounds back. So losing this round puts them in a very, very tight spot. Whereas Sangal, eh, not too concerned. They're fine. And if they win yeah. this round, it's map point. And they should. I mean, they're playing against a bit of a half investment here right now. Movistar Koya fallen flat on the CT side. 12-8, the imminent scoreline. Which is actually the scoreline we saw on Overpass as well. I mean, Sangal were the ones who had to fight to come back to force o OT. Will we see something similar here? Mopar's hearing a lot of footsteps right now. Relays that information through to his teammates. The smoke starts to fade and he becomes very exposed. Oh, disastrous. Okay, at least he gets the one. At least that's something to take to the bank. Unfortunately, not too much to be done there. But it's a lot of information given over as well. They know what, how much of a heavy presence has moved towards that outside area. But they don't know where the bomb's going. There's a suspicion, well, maybe it's going to head down secret. But the bomb is making its way up towards heaven completely unnoticed for now what's the plan 30 seconds on the clock right now for sangal to get across the line you don't want to slip up against this type of a buy that would be a disaster when you're so close to finishing off but at least getting to map point adam s has recovered that ak and it throws the cats amongst the pigeons they were relying on this avenue of entry to get into the ap bomb site and it's just been shut down the bomb's been dropped round is over there's nothing anginio can do except carry that off through so sangal they're gonna be feeling a bit red in the face after that one i reckon I must admit, xCloud going on his own, pushing up towards that heaven position. I, I don't know if I vibe with it. And unfortunately, he gets taken out. And he had the bomb. And that is the major issue. Like, if he's just one of the players... I mean, it's still a little egregious. But at least you haven't lost the bomb. But he did have the bomb. So that goes... That goes all different shades of messed up. Yeah. hand that round over to Movistar and Movistar are laughing to the bank because we said like okay Sangal doesn't mind too much if they lose that round they still got cash to work with and that they did but if they lose this round dear lord Hayes we could be going to overtime again well I mean that's the main problem with the the previous round they just lost was they were supposed to lock in overtime at the bare minimum they were supposed to give themselves that insurance, and now they don't have that anymore. And like you say, there's a world in which they lose this next round, 10-11 becomes 11-11, and then I reckon Sangal will fret at that point. 
a big lifeline has been afforded to Movistar Koi here with them winning that eco round and Sangal just left themselves too much to do with too little time on the clock when they've been moving with pace and conviction that's when they've looked their best so far so let's see what's the approach going to be here from this T side what is Linus calling it looks like we're going for another little bit of presence towards outside Movistar Koi have heavily reinforced this A site with very few sight lines out towards outside, but they do have the AWP posted up. Stadodo here could be their last line of defense. As the smokes come out, shut down that sight line. HE, give him a little bit of extra vision. Ooh, it's a little too deep. He's not able to spot out anything. Well placed smokes here from Sangal should give them a free cross. Stadodo's found nothing. The funniest part about that is that this, this outside cross is like a lurk bait. Bomb yeah, is exactly. still heading towards lobby. It's all about the conditioning. You never really want to be too predictable with how you use those smokes. Sometimes you send four players, sometimes one, sometimes none. This time it's just Cloud who's playing that lurk role. The rest of the team setting themselves up towards ramp. It's only WG here right now, but he does have an AK. And that is capable of tearing up the opponents as they make their way forward. Doesn't have any utility. Let's see what's going to happen. Massive round right now. WG doesn't draw any blood. Force backwards. Joined up with Stododo. Back to back right now. Stododo's taking down x and now the rotations come through as well. They're trying to hold this angle so nicely, but oh, Linus knows what's up. As much as we do get an opening kill here for Movi Start. Oh my god, Stododo just can't be stopped. A 2k for him, keeping his team alive. Make it a third. He's looking for more. He smells the blood in the water. Ganguinho is the only one left alive here. A great recovery from Movi Star. Okay. No ways. I genuinely uh, thought he gets that. Caught with Util out. I genuinely thought. But no. It not to be the case. Gets close. Pretty scary there for a brief moment. I can't believe Stododo. Stododo is him in that round because he's forced <laughs> forward by the molly. And then he hits that ridiculous shot up close shotgun orping. Then a really quick second shot to take down the player who's on the bomb sites in the corner. Wonderful work from Stododo. And Sangal now have to eco. This game is slipping through their fingers. Like sand in an hourglass, Sam. You should get that reference, right? These There's are the days one. of our lives. There we go. <laughs> so I think a lot of people know that one. I think that's just a South African, like a boomer thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, it was an American show, but I don't know how yeah. popular it was around the rest of the world. It was too popular here. It was a problem. I was like, I was into Generations. That was a good oh. one. Young and the Restless as well. Oh, no. Come on. That's Everyone terrible. had one soapy window growing up. I mean, to be to be fair, mine was here in the lawn. I like, I can't talk. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We've all got our vices. Sam. <laughs> Don't have to be embarrassed. It's okay. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Well, Sangirl, they don't have much going for them in this round. I do like that there's an org on board. I am such an org enjoyer. It's actually unreasonable how much I like this gun. See, look at that. Look at that. Okay, it's an anti eco, but still, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> It is fun, and it makes the game a lot easier when you're at range like that. Just mow them down. No problems, no hassles. 11-11. Ah, Sangal, they're going to be sweating a little bit now at this point, right? Lose this round. 12-11, and they don't have money. That's a concern. I got a little too excited about the org. I'm not going to lie. It's okay. It's all right. You're allowed yeah. to like what you like. <laughs> you know what? Some people like LMGs. I like orgs. We shouldn't like those people, though. No, definitely not. Those people and shotgun people. Those are not my people. Yeah, I don't identify <laughs> with that type. <laughs> you can't sit with us. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Okay, big round. Movie Star Koi. They got the wind in their sails. Sangirl. They're going to be nervous. They don't have much utility. And they've got some. Mostly flashes. Two mollies. A smoke. Second smoke, I suppose. Where do they go from here? In towards A is the name of the game. Splitting their way through mouth. The kills initially favoring the CT side. Just is rooted on the bomb site. Wants to give himself some room to play with. He's lost WG though. But he will still stand tall for one. And he finds the last kill to finish it off. Just has been a monster for Movistar on this map so far. And that's map and series point. I mean, the, the resurgence from Movistar over the last few rounds has been incredible. The fact that they've been able to dismantle Sangal's economy 
and keep them on the back foot off the back of one round that they managed to snowball for themselves. They're doing so much better than when we kicked off on the CT side. And now Sangal's economy is well and truly gutted. So little to try to work with. Movistar have everything going for them. And all they have to do is close out one round. Easy, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, what could go wrong? Couple Mac 10s, a Desert Eagle, Sangal, surely this is not how they go on to lose the map, Sam. That would be a disaster. Oh, oh, oh so close. He also needs to be careful, though. Not like there aren't any threats on the opposite side of the server. And x has gotten into a pretty good position here. He's going to be creating some space here for his teammates to start to group up outside of lobby. Sangal playing a, a far more patient game here. <laughs> Xcloud making a ton of noise down towards B. And Movistar are not biting. And look at that. A beautiful spray down. We'll take out Youngster. Opposition heavily handicapped. Oh my. Okay. Nice little running gun from Xcloud there. But it's all he's going to be good for. However, this site is now free and clear. Bomb is going to get planted. It's three versus three. Rifles have been given over to Sangal. They're going to be happy with that. Now this retake has to come through. Gavi G looking to kind of pincer it up. As the orb holds from on high. Oh no. Tries to use the utility. We're down to a 2 versus 2. Stadolo desperately finding a way forward. What? P250 in hand. It's only Ganguinho. He has to clutch 1 versus 2. A defuse on both of the remaining players. A kit that is. They tap the defuse to try and bait Ganguinho out. He comes flying forward but straight into bullets. What a resurgence from Moby Starkoi to bring themselves back into this map when it seemed that all hope was lost. And honestly, a lot of that comes down to the pistol kill. Sudoto from heaven. If that bullet doesn't hit, I think we, we are seeing a very different story here. I think we're headed into overtime. But... Yeah. I can't happen. believe it. I can't believe that we don't actually...